Four-time number one best-selling author and former F-18 Top Gun fighter pilot, business consultant and advisor Ed Rush has helped over 340 companies, including multinational, multi-million dollar corporations, sports teams, Hollywood celebrities, and even one of the contestants on Donald Trump's Apprentice, grow their revenue, eliminate waste, and just have more fun in their business. My name's Ed Rush. Welcome to the most positive place on the planet for insanely implementable ideas. Listen, today's Ed Talks Live is actually a recorded session I did last week on the biggest changes that are happening in the world and how to dominate the new normal to totally crush this year. It's a training that I did for my insider folks on Zoom, and I'm going to be playing that in just a second. Now, it's important for you to know that the entire Ed Talks Live has gone online, in, in this case now behind the paywall on Zoom, and right now I'm starting the Ultimate Speaker live training. If you haven't had a chance to register for Ultimate Speaker, it is simply put one of the most compelling trainings to show you how to make money, sharing your message, changing people's lives, and having a lot of fun doing it. So the website is actually below, ultimatespeaker.com. When you register, you're going to get right into those trainings that are starting right now. You're going to get a membership site with all the recordings. You're going to get the recordings of my last live event that I did uh, in Dallas back in the fall, and you're going to get a whole bunch of bonuses, including a manual and a whole bunch of other things. So without any further ado, here's, to, here's how to dominate the new normal, and I'll see you inside the Zoom training if you decide to take action. On your Mac or PC, uh, on your phone, usually that's on the top right. So jump in, tell me who you are, where you're from, what you do. My goal today is to give you everything you need uh, to rapidly shift gears and adjust and put yourself on the proper side of the cash register because things are changing so fast right now that you do not want to want to uh, miss them. Okay. So in a moment, I'm going to click record on the show and get cranking. Uh, a whole bunch of you just joined us and we're still in a little bit of a preamble mode. Uh, so if you haven't done it already, Hey, Colin, good to see you, man. It's been a while since I've, I've talked to you. Hello, Jim Butts, uh, David, uh, Rick, Hello, Donna. What is your book? Writer of the Magic in the Mountains. I love it. Uh, hey, Sally from Goodyear, Arizona. Just drove through there. I sold my Corvette, actually. Um, <laughs> Barry says, Dan Kennedy seems to think live events will come back relatively soon because hotels won't let people out of their contracts. <laughs> they, they, they are, though. Hey, what's up, uh, Francine? Uh, Shidr, Shirdhar from India. Uh, welcome, Gissy, as well. Uh, Nobby, what's up, dude? Ed Ritter, good to see you as well. All right, so let's get the recording started, and let's get started with today's show, because what we're going to talk about is vitally, <laughs> vitally important. All right, so let's get going. All right, hey, welcome to the show. My name is Ed Rush, five-time number one best-selling author, former F-18 fighter pilot, and let me just say it this way. The world just changed and pivoted in such a way that nothing will ever be the same ever again. I was just talking this morning with a friend of mine on a show this morning, some of you saw this, and I said, look, you can't say, hey, remember when we used, no, you can't say that anymore. The world has changed so dramatically and so drastically, and when that happens, the world closes doors on old opportunities and always opens doors on new ones. And I can tell you, with 100% certainty that there are now two roads in front of every business owner. Road number one leads to inevitable frustration, failure, and bankruptcy, doing it the same way that you've always done it. And road number two leads to millions, multi-millions, or billions of dollars having a massive impact on the world while sharing your message. The road that you decide to go down is completely up to you, but I can tell you, if you're implementing the same strategies, if you're implementing the same tactics, if you're using the same marketing and promotions that you were two months ago, bet, all bets are off, okay? But if you're ready to pivot quickly and you're ready to shift into what's working now, the world is going to be a very, very fun place for you. Now, 
I know times are tough, okay? And I know people are having a difficult time right now. So I'm not talking about uh, being um, opportunistic uh, to someone else's detriment, but I am talking about being opportunistic because when there is an opportunity, smart business owners jump through that window. And I don't have time to go through the history, but what I can tell you is if you are in the business of building small single family housing and shopping malls in 1945, you're about to be a multi, multi, multi millionaire. If you're in the business of building shopping malls in 2020, you're about to go bankrupt. And I can, I can show you just in, that, just in that vignette how much the world has changed and how important it is for you to rapidly adjust and change with it. My job, very simply, is this. To help you share your message so that you can get paid very, very well doing it so that you can change the world. And here's why. There's actually a little bit of me involved in this as well. Because like you, I have a mission, I have a passion, I have a vision for changing the world. I really have a desire to see the world completely change. And I think you do too. My desire is to change the way that we lead uh, as a nation uh, politically and to do it in a nonpartisan way. But the truth is, for me to accomplish my mission, you need to accomplish your mission. And you accomplishing your mission will make it that much easier for me to accomplish my mission. So for example, right in chat uh, today are, uh, are some of my clients, David and Jill Stoll, and they just checked in and said, hello, David, you and Jill growing your learning centers and expanding the work that you do for parents and children will make the platform for what I'm trying to do easier. And so the truth is me giving you this information is not only helpful for you, but it's also helpful for me. And it's also helpful for the rest of the world. Now, you choose whether or not you're going to take this and implement it. It's completely up to you. But what I'm going to show you is that coming into February of 2020, as a communicator, there were four main ways to make money. I'm going to jump up on the whiteboard in a second and show you what those four were. In May of 2020, where we are right now, one of those has completely gone away. Okay, now this one will come back in about eight to nine, uh, eight to nine months, maybe up to a year. But one also popped out when this one went away. And the smart speakers, the smart communicators right now are, are not sitting around waiting for something to change. They just pivoted and they're going into the new opportunity, okay? And I can tell you that while keynote speaking, getting paid checks, you know, going to events and getting paid $5,000, $7,500, $10,000 completely dried up. While that, I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a second. While that completely dried up, the opportunity for you to build your brand and to build your following and to catalyze a base right now using online trainings and live streaming just completely took off. Okay. So some of you know this because you're registered for this, but next week we kick off the ultimate speaker online training next Tuesday morning. At 10 o'clock, we start the online stream, the training, the online stream. That training has typically been designed to show you how to make money in the four areas that I just talked about. I'm going to teach those four areas next week, but I'm going to add two more areas to the training next week because it's so important for your adjustment as an entrepreneur. And if there's no other example I can use to show you this, I don't know if you saw the news yesterday, but Joe Rogan just sold the rights to his podcast to Spotify for over $100 million. Listen, this is not a radio network. This is not a radio show. This isn't a TV show in the traditional sense. And it was valued at $100 million. That should make you smile because it's giving entrepreneurs like you and me the ability and the platform to share your message so that you can make a bunch of money doing it so that you can change the world. So, Quickly, I want to go back to set the context for what we're talking about today. I want to go back and I'm going to tell you about a two minute story about when I first got into uh, my squadron in the military. If you look behind me, there's a <clears throat> helmet and an oxygen mask that's sitting here. And the camouflage cover around that helmet was given to me when I, uh, when I got trained far enough to be a member of my squadron. My first squadron was called VMFA 242, the BATS. Uh, and the truth is, uh, even though I failed kindergarten, I was a pretty good pilot. 
Uh, so I, I graduated first in primary flight school. I graduated first in ground school for flight school. I graduated first in intermediate flight school. I graduated first in advanced flight school. So that by the time I got to my squadron, I had finished first, 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 first. And when you finish first that often, you start to think, you know, wow, you know, like maybe I'm really good at this, okay? And I showed up at my first fighter squadron. <laughs> and not only was I the worst pilot in my squadron, I was the worst by a long shot. Some of you have heard me say this, but in a military flying squadron, there's actually two rank structures. Rank structure number one is, you know, colonel, lieutenant colonel, major, uh, captain, lieutenant, lieutenant. That's the rank structure. That's the hierarchy according to the Marines. But there's another structure in a flight squadron, and the structure goes like this. Who's the best pilot? There's 18 pilots, and everyone knows who number one is, number two, number three. Number one in my squadron was a pilot whose name was, whose call sign was Snake, Snake Dalton. Number 18 in my squadron was a dude named Ed Rush, okay? Call sign head, head rush down on number 18. And try as I might, man, I would go out against these guys and fight in these dog fights and I would get beat and I would get beat and I would get beat and I would get beat, beat, beat. And finally, I said, well, I got enough of this. And so I went into the simulator building and I started putting my name on the little checklist because they had this list of, it was a waiting list of people who wanted to get into the simulator. I put my name there, but that was based on rank, so I would never get into the, into the simulator to be able to train and to trial. Everybody else who was ahead of me in ranking and also in, in standing were always ahead of me working on their game and like getting better. But I realized that even though the simulator building was always full, it was open from nine in the morning to nine at night, and every Friday from five at night to nine at night, it was empty because all the dudes were over at the bar. So I started going into the simulator building for those four hours from five to nine on Friday nights. First I did, all I did was just practice flying perfect turns. In the F-18, the perfect turn is done at 307 knots. Not 305, not 300, 307. Perfect turn. It's a perfectly executed, perfect rate turn. You get the best turn in terms of your nose turning at 307 knots. At the F-18, Slow speed maneuverable, you can actually get it all the way down to about 50 knots and, and have it still be maneuverable. So I would practice the slow speed maneuvers using my rudders to turn the airplane and to pirouette the nose down. I would practice these 307 knot turns. And then, and then what I would do is I would start doing it while looking behind me so that I could fly by feel instead of just by what I'm seeing. Because sometimes in a dogfight, you start to learn how to do it behind you. And I trained and I drilled and I trained and I drilled and I trained and I drilled and I trained and I drilled. Next thing you know, I started getting better. And I started moving up the ladder. Next thing you know, they sent me off the Top Gun to learn and get trained there. Next thing you know, I'm the number one instructor in the entire Marine Corps for one against one dogfighting. That was three years after I joined my first squadron, three and a half years. Now, this is where, as a speaker or as a communicator, I'm actually going to jump up on the, onto the, the whiteboard because what I'm about to share with you is actually so so important to what we're just going to do. As a speaker and as a communicator, it's important for you to know that just like in the cockpit, when it comes to success, and I define success as a speaker and a communicator as revenue, how much money is coming into your business, impact, what kind of impact you have on the world, and lifestyle, okay? Write that down, by the way. That's, that's a really important uh, three considerations. The first one is revenue money. The second one is, in, this is no particular order, by the way. Sometimes people focus more on impact. Sometimes people fo focus on lifestyle, but these three, revenue, impact, lifestyle. Okay. So when I talk about success, especially as a communicator, I'm talking about these three and the communicators that I know and work with my one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting clients focus on all three. Okay. They want to grow their income. They want to help and change the world while at the same time uh, they want to have an incredible lifestyle and be able to take like this weekend off. Okay. Like I hope you're going to do now success in doing this. Number one starts with the fundamental principles, but then number two is understanding that there are shortcuts. So some of you heard, cause you were with me in the preamble to the show. Some of you heard me talking about this little uh, manual, uh, this, this binder that I'm giving to all the people who attend ultimate speaker next week. This particular binder, as you heard me say, I was like, look, if I had a time machine and I could go back 13 years, I would take that binder 
with me, with all the scripting, all the notes, all the tools, because the truth is there are shortcuts. And as a pilot, I started to learn that there were actually shortcuts in the cockpit. For example, when you're in a one against one dogfight, there's, th there's four different ways you can pass an airplane. You can pass this way, which is called left to left. You can pass this way, which is right to right. You can pass this way, which is above, or you can pass this way, which is below. All things being equal, you'd prefer to pass below. That's because if they can't see you, you can start to turn and you can usually get about 30 degrees worth of turn, which is about a half a second advantage in a dogfight. But you had to get there in the first place, okay? Now, what happens is when people teach speaking, when people teach communication, when people t teach you how to make money with your message, a lot of times all they do is focus on the shortcut. So right now, it's really popular to get like the hack for this and the hack for that and how to hack your body and how to hack your sleep and how to hack your money. And, and, and that's fine. Shortcuts are fine, but if they're not based in the fundamental principles, then you're never going to get anywhere. So if you've ever tried a program before that was like the hacking of something, especially when it came to business and it didn't work for you in the end, it's because you have to start with the principles, okay? So today, when I talk about what's changed in the speaking world and how you can adjust with it, I'm going to start with the principles. Then I'm gonna get down to some shortcuts, okay? And that's actually a really important first step. Now, if you just joined us, and I saw about 50 people, by the way, uh, but before I started, just joined us on today's Zoom meeting. A couple things. First of all, right on the right-hand side, there's a chat box that will open when you click the chat button below you. That's if you're on a PC or a Mac. If you're on your phone, the chat button's gonna be on the right-hand side. Make sure that you say hello, click all panelists and attendees, tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you do. I'd love to be able to talk uh, and share with you. I've got some stuff prepared for you, okay? I keep moving my notes all over the place. I've got some stuff prepared for you to show you how this communication world, speaking world has changed and how you can adjust quickly and share your message. When I get done with this sharing of this information, first of all, you have, have to have a pen, okay? And you have to write this stuff down. The second thing I'm going to encourage you to do, this is really important. I know right now we're all watching stuff on computers, okay? If you were at a live event with me and I was teaching right now, you were sitting in the audience, you'd be listening. If I was at a live event listening to you, I'd be in the audience and I would be listening. I wouldn't be talking on my phone or, or distracted looking at Facebook because if I was at a live event, I wouldn't do that and, nor, and you wouldn't either. And so what I'm going to encourage you to do is be like, unlike any entrepreneur, right? Most entrepreneurs are distracted all the time. Focus in. Give me a good like 20 minutes right now. I'm serious. Focus in because what I'm going to share with you when you implement it will make you a lot of money, will help you communicate your message to a lot of people and will free up a lot of your lifestyle. And I said this in the beginning, but if you didn't catch it, it's two roads right now. The world changed so dramatically and so drastically, the whole system just got shaken up. There are businesses right now that will go completely bankrupt. LA Fitness, 24 hour fitness, forget about companies like that. Okay, big, slow, dumb companies. There are speakers right now who are not going to adjust, who will literally not make a dime for the next year. And there are speakers who will make millions of dollars in the next 12 months based on what I'm teaching you right now. So my suggestion is put everything aside, close your Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever it is, put everything aside, focus in on what I'm telling you right now, okay? Dial in, dial in your attention uh, and your focus because I'm gonna show you how to make money uh, and share your message with a whole bunch of people. Now, before I do that, what's up Paul Perez? Good to see you, man. I'm gonna throw a poll up real quick, um, hang on. And I would love for you to take a look at this. The, the question I have for you, and it's an important question for you to think, and I want you to answer honestly, okay? So the question's gonna come up there and it says this, if I gave you the keys to a six or seven figure speaking business sharing your message, how long would it take for you to start implementing, okay? So I'm gonna put that poll up there, I'm gonna leave it up for about five or 10 minutes and I want you to answer this honestly, okay? Because what I'm about to share with you is a significant adjustment. It's probably something you haven't done. Okay, my question is, would you implement it in a day? Would you implement it in a week? Would you implement it in a month? Which is fine if you do that. Or if you're like, look, I'm not really an implementer, okay? So you answer that question the way that you want to. The outline for today is I'm gonna share, share with you quickly what's changed, okay? Then I'm gonna jump into a quick discussion. Some of you have been asking questions about Ultimate Speaker, okay? Ultimate Speaker is my, is my Ultimate Speaker event. This is the event that I have Every, right now, every uh, um, spring and fall, we had it scheduled for this spring. Uh, the live event got canceled for obvious reasons. That is going 100% digital. So if you're not registered for Ultimate Speaker, I'm going to talk about that briefly in maybe, maybe 20 minutes or so. I'm going to give you a great deal. It's still an investment. 
okay? And then I'm going to, going to give, show you how you can get three events for the price of one, all right? I'm gonna give you, in other words, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of really great bonuses, and then I'm going to stick around and answer all of your questions. And there's gonna be a lot of juice coming in the Q&A section, right? So be sure to have great questions, bring me some great questions, uh, and I will answer <laughs> to the best of my ability, all right? The poll's cranking right now, it looks like, actually most of you voted, you're awesome. All right, so I think it should show you the results. It was about a quarter. Nobody answered, I would never implement. <laughs> that was a trick question, you know, you know that I, <laughs> I love it. All right, so about a quarter of you said less than 24 hours. Half of you said one day to a week. I love it, I love it. And a quarter said, good job, good job. One week to a month. All right, cool. Here we go, share the results. I'm gonna give you another question uh, in about, Five minutes, this is very good. Charles, Charles says, if you haven't signed up for Ultimate Speaker, you need to do it now. All right, so quick, quick, quick background. So when I left the Marine Corps, uh, I left because of my family. I wanted to spend more time with my family and less time overseas in Iraq, frankly. Uh, at that point, I started building, I, I didn't know what I was doing at the time, but I started building an internet business. I had a little course for people who wanted to be fighter pilots, and I started making money online. I started a second business. It was a business for people who wanted to be basketball referees, and I started making money <clears throat> with that business. It was at that point that I started going to speaking events and having speaking engagements. <clears throat> at first, I was just going to business events. People would come up to me afterwards and say, hey, could you come in and help our business do what you're doing online? And it was from there that a consulting business was born. Now, what I just said is actually really important to what I'm about to teach you because the consulting business, so I've made at this point well over $10 million from speaking. Shoot, it's probably more like 12 at this point. And that consulting business is about, is about, represents about 85% of that revenue that I just said. Because the truth is 98% of the people who I've had come to me in my advisory business, which is about 440 plus clients, about 97 to 98% of those came to me because they heard me speak. That's a very important point, a point that I, just, that I just made there. It was then that I started getting hired to come in and do keynote speeches, trainings uh, for events. And what I started to realize is that every meeting planner who calls you actually asks the same three questions. They say, here's the date. Is it available? What's your fee? And could you tell me more about your topic? It's those three questions every time. And I realized that there were a series of questions that I would ask and the conversation would go a certain way. So I started writing all that stuff down. Then there was usually a meeting before the meeting where I would ask a series of questions and I started writing that stuff down. And then when I got on site, there were some questions the meeting planner asked me and there were some questions I had for them. And I started writing those down and I started putting it into what turned into a speaking system. And then I started going up on stage and I had these information products. For example, my first product was a product on productivity. It was how to get more out of your time. And I would go up on stage and I would speak and then, you know, I got that 10 or 15 minutes at the end of your talk where you could mention your product and get people to go to the back. And I realized, man, if I said this instead of this, more people would go invest in my product. And so I started to build this very choreographed speech that I could plug and play in every single way and be able to do that. And then next thing you know, I had two guys come to me and say, hey, we want to start a business marketing to attorneys. And they said, how would you do it if it was you? And I said, it's very simple. I would go and communicate. I would speak in front of attorneys at bar associations. And if we did that right, we would naturally attract clients to us. And sure enough, we went from nothing, a standing start, no money at all, to, to the next year having 48 bar association presentations and a seven-figure business built on nothing more than the back of a great presentation. Now the interesting thing about speaking at a bar association, if you've ever communicated in that environment, is you can't sell anything. Like the idea of you offering something, the idea of you, you know, sending people to the back table or something like that to buy something, that doesn't happen at bar associations. But you know, I would walk into the bar association and I would walk out with a $15,000 upfront client who would pay us $2,500 a month and a seven-figure business was built simply on the back of a great presentation. And so what I realized, and then I started writing books and bringing those books in, and people would buy those books, and then I figured out a way to get 100% of the people in the room 
to buy and walk away with my book. And those are the four things I just mentioned, right? There's, there's keynote speaking or getting paid checks. There's you offering products at the end of your talk, which is an extremely lucrative way to speak, by the way. There's you offering something like coaching or consulting or getting spin-off business. Remember I said going into the bar association, you couldn't actually sell anything, but you could get spin-off business based on how good your talk was, okay? And then you can get paid because of books. And all of a sudden, over the course of communicating and trying and building and, and having success and some failure in certain places, I realized there's a certain way that you give this talk. And if you do it in a certain way every single time, you're guaranteed to have people pay you for what you've got at the end. And there's a certain way to give this talk. That if you do this talk right and you embed the right phrases in the right way, and you stop in the middle of your talk and say, oh, by the way, and you do it the right way, it doesn't sound like you're selling anything. It sounds like you're a trusted advisor, the kind of person that somebody could really, really kind of lean into and trust for the kind of information that they want. And if you did this right, you wouldn't even have to do it in the middle of your talk. You could just ask the meeting planner ahead of time and they would buy books for everybody. You don't have to think about it. And all of a sudden I realized that I had the tools, not to a, a, a speaking um, career, but an actual speaking business, something that was formulaic. In other words, when a meeting planner called me and I was talking to him or her on the phone, I knew what they were going to say, I knew what I was going to say, and I knew if I did it right, I would get the, get the check every single time. And I started at $2,500 keynote fees, and then I went into t t 5K, okay, and then it was 10K, and I've gotten paid up to ten dollars to $15,000 uh, in, in certain cases to go in and communicate for an hour to an organization. This one's the one that went away, by the way. I'll explain what that means in a second. And then I'd have other people like entrepreneurs that would ask me to come in. And some of you have heard me speak in this environment before where they weren't paying me to come in, but they were saying, look, if you come in and want to offer one of your products, that's totally fine. At the end of your talk, you can do that. But what I realized is the audience didn't love that. You know, you've been to those events before where you, you do this thing where like you get, the guy gets to the end of his talk and you're like, ah, he's, here's the part where he's going to sell something. And I realized the audience didn't love that. So I'm like, how can I craft this presentation so that people are as excited about the end of the presentation as they were in the middle of the presentation? In my presentation, man, people are saying hoorah. People are, are like feeding back. They're like cheering for me and then they're really excited, right? And I'm like, how do I get people like that at the end of my presentation in as much as the middle? And if any of you see me at events, where I'm gonna offer products at the end, you'll see people laughing, cheering, and saying hoorah in the middle of this part too. And so I wrote it in such a way that it's so seamless how it transitions from a talk into the offer that nobody even knows uh, that they transitioned. All they know is they're about to get even more of what they're excited about in the first place. But this one right here, that one right there turned into the bread and butter. This is the one where if I was to start from scratch right now, somebody asked me this question on one of the most recent Ed Talks. If I was to start from scratch right now with no background, with no, uh, no fighter pilot background, no five books, no following online, no list, no nothing. If I was to start right now, you know what I would do? I would create a great talk. And what I would do is I would get in front of the ideal, my ideal client. Somebody makes six or seven figures. Somebody who's got a vision and a passion for changing the world. Somebody who has a proven track record of impl implementation. And I would do this talk in front of this market and sign people up for 15 or 20 or 25 or 30 or $50,000 coaching and consulting packages where I was partnering and working with them in a business that they, they loved and I loved. And together we were growing a business. That's what I would do. Okay. And I'd still write books and I'd still offer them, but I wouldn't sell these at events. I'd have the meeting planners buy those in advance and give those out to people as they were coming into the event. Now, of my business, speaking, seven-figure business, by the way, so like 12 or 13 straight years, okay? Of my business, had a couple bad years in there, by the way, okay? In the, in, in, on some of the bookends, all right? But in my business, speaking accounts for probably about 90% of all that revenue. And of that, let me sh show you how it breaks down. This is about 15% of the revenue right here. That's about 5% of the revenue right there. This is about 1% of the revenue right there because books aren't very expensive. 
okay? And this one right here, this is about 79% of the revenue. Remember what I said, if I had it to do all over again, this is the one that I would do, okay? Now, I said this in the beginning. Pandemic hits in February. All of a sudden, the world completely changes. And when one door closes, another one opens, okay? And I said, like, keynote speaking for the most part is gone. I'm gonna explain what I mean by that in just a second. But when one gets thrown off the bus, there's another one that opens up and there's another opportunity. And this one right here, when you do this right, I'm gonna tell you, the, the, world, the world just became your stage. I was talking to a friend of mine today who's trying to get a TV show, like a real TV show. I mean, he's trying to get like an actual business TV show where he teaches and does interviews. And I was like, you, you have a TV show now. He's like, well, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm like, dude, I do a TV show every day on YouTube, like 10 o'clock in the morning, man, Ed Talks Live, boom, we go live, right? And I, will, I would venture to say, I'll, I make more revenue from that particular show and a small audience than I would with an actual TV show and a big audience because they're completely different. Somebody who's sitting there online is an active learner. Somebody who's sitting there in front of their television set at home is a passive learner, even if they're a learner at all, okay? So everything shifted. Let me tell you how this shifted. So first of all, this little bit part of the business right here, this one kind of went away. Now, I said this in the beginning preamble when I was hang, hanging out, we were, just, we were just chatting. And by the way, if you just joined us, we're talking about how to communicate so that you can make money, impact the world, and have a great lifestyle. And I'm gonna show you some of the ways that you can adjust right now to making more money and to be sitting in front of the market in terms of, uh, in, to be sitting in front of the cash register, frankly, uh, in front of your market. What I said, I made a bold claim, which is a lot of businesses right now are gonna go bankrupt and obsolete, but a whole bunch of entrepreneurs are gonna move fast and become millionaires, multimillionaires, and billionaires. And I can guarantee you, there's a handful of people right now watching this webcast who five years from now will be millionaires or multimillionaires. And if they traced it back, they could trace some of the roots back to this presentation right here. I'm telling you, what happened in the world is so significant and the opportunity that's in, in front of you is so important that if you miss this, you missed it, okay? I'm talking like you're, you're gonna need to wait about another 80 years for a shift like the one that we're seeing right now. That means now is the time to get into implementation. Now is the time to fix your online brand. I'm gonna go there in just a second. Now is the time to begin to communicate your message even if you don't know what your message is, okay? So I know some of you are like, man, I already know what I'm gonna talk about. I already did a TED Talk. Ed, a couple of you have done TED Talks, by the way. You're like, I already did a TED Talk. I know what my message is. Great, now let's get you in front of the world. Some of you came here and you're like, man, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about. Great, let's start getting you in front of the world too because you know we're gonna find it out that way, okay? I'm gonna just tell you, look, future, the future doesn't favor the bold. The future favors the fast, okay? There's a reason why I put this little poll out here, right? How long would it take you to implement? If you said never, if you're not an implementer, it's not gonna happen for you. But if you're like, Ed, dude, I could do this in like a week, at least less than a month, then we're in the right spot. Because here's what I'm telling you, without any doubt in my mind, you have three max of six months to rapidly transition to attract the kind of crowd that you want, make the kind of money that you want, to communicate your message and change the world, okay? Look, if you could go back in time and buy Apple shares when they were just getting going, you'd be really rich right now. If you could buy Dell or Microsoft shares back when it was getting going, you'd be really rich. If you could go back in a time machine, I live in California. If you could go back 20 years, 25 years in a time machine, man, if I could, I'd buy a whole bunch of property. I was looking at all this and like, gosh, if I could have just bought this 25 years ago. Okay, what you learned was there is a price to be paid for procrastination. And not making a decision is the same thing as making a decision not to, okay? You sat on the fence during the dot-com bubble. You sat on the fence during the real estate bubble. You missed, you maybe missed when podcasts took off. 
you maybe missed a couple of things along the way and you're like, dang, if I had started when Joe Rogan, guess what, guess what? Now, now is one of those doors again. It just opened back up for you and the opportunity just showed back up for you. Do not miss it. Listen, let me go back to what I said in the beginning. You have a message, a vision, a story, or an experience that's going to change the world. You have a moral responsibility to get it out in front of the world. If you don't feel like it's ready yet, too late. It's ready. If you don't feel like you're ready yet, you are. Okay? It's time to get out and communicate the way that you need to communicate in front of the world. And I'm going to show you how. Now, back to this. I had a conversation with my, uh, my, my speakers bureau. So I am represented by several speakers bureaus, but one of the ones that I'm represented by is Executive Speakers Bureau in Tennessee. And they're the one that, that, that have given me most of my bookings. Uh, I've spoken to a ton of their clients, including a bunch of hospital associations and some of the biggest organizations in the world. I was on the phone with him just a few days ago. I said, hey, what's happening in the, in the fee-based world? And he said, the earliest we're going to book things right now is the fall, but it's really looking more like 2021. Okay. Here's what this means to you as a speaker. Earliest 2021. So let's say there's an event in March of 2021. The organizers of that event will begin at the earliest booking their speakers for, um, for the March of 2021 around October of 2020. Let's say you get booked for a keynote speech that's $7,000. You're going to get 50% of that upfront, so you're gonna get $3,500 in October. So here's what I'm telling you. If you're keynote speaking only, the earliest you're gonna get paid is, uh, is in the fall. That's the earliest you're gonna get paid. And you're gonna get half of that to deliver something next year, okay? So if all you're doing is keynote speaking, you're not going to do very well for about the next year. And all the dudes that I know, dudes and dudettes who are like keynote speakers, they're all struggling right now, okay? But not you, because you're here, okay? So if you're here, there is one thing that I do want you to do. I'd love for you to get your platform where it needs to be so that when the fall comes around, you're the obvious person that someone wants to come to, okay? And I'm gonna be teaching next week on the Ultimate Speaker uh, uh, event, online event. I'm gonna be teaching you how to get your platform right. But I can tell you, that platform building right now is priority number two, because what I'm gonna tell you is the next most important thing, okay? Now, remember what I said, one door closed, but then another, another door opened, okay? And here's, here are the doors, it's actually two different doors uh, that have actually opened. I'm gonna explain what I mean in a second. First of all, this world right here, the product world, the strangest thing happened. That world right there, that world was, was dying. It was very interesting. The information product world over the last five years has been atrophying and dying. So for example, let's say you had a product seven years ago that taught people how to uh, build a butcher block table for their kitchen, which is funny because I'm actually getting ready to build a butcher block table for my kitchen. If you had a product seven years ago that had a, taught people how to build a butcher block table for their, uh, for their kitchen, you could put that product up for 97, 197, 297 bucks, buy a couple ads, run people to the page, simple sales page, click, people would buy it and you would have a business. You'd probably have a six figure business teaching people how to do butcher blocks. Problem is over the last seven years, Facebook and YouTube killed a lot of those kind of products because now if you wanna build a butcher block thing for your kitchen, you go to YouTube and you watch like as many videos as you want and then you go build your thing. And so in a certain way, Facebook and YouTube kind of killed off the information marketing business until February <laughs> of 2020. And I can tell you, you could, I could show you inside of my Infusionsoft account, all of a sudden, right about the beginning of March, the product world completely took off. All right, now, here's why. In times of certainty, people get complacent. By the way, somebody type this in the chat because what I'm about to tell you 
is really important and it's coming out for the very first time and it's not even in my notes. In times of certainty, people get complacent. Complacent. Implacent. In times of certainty, people get complacent. That's when the information product world started to go down. In times of uncertainty, people start to buy certainty. So if you're out there teaching on health, fitness, dieting, relationships, business, lead generation, or one of another hundred topics, three months ago, you were communicating to a world that was bombarded and numb. And if you felt like I did like four or five months ago, you're like, man, it's really hard to get through to an audience right now. And it was. And then all of a sudden, a world pandemic shook everybody out of their hypnotism. And everyone is now looking for the answers that you can provide, right? I was talking to David and Jill about Stoll Learning Center. And sometimes it's hard to get parents to move. Sometimes it's hard to take, get parents to take action. Not now. Every parent just became a homeschool parent, like overnight. All of a sudden, people are looking for solutions, okay? So in times of complaint, in times of, how did I even say it? In times of certainty, people get complacent. In times of uncertainty, people, I don't even know what that says. Buy, cert, I don't know why I write on the board. Why do I write on the board if you can't even read it? People buy certainty, okay? So, and it doesn't matter the market that you're in. If you have an information product, now's the time to get it out there. If you don't, now's the time to get, <laughs> to get one out there, okay? And next week, Next week when I do ultimate speaker training, we're gonna focus in on this. I'm gonna show you how to create a presentation that compels people to invest, okay, and how to get going with this, all right? And you're gonna watch it in real time. The second thing, you would have thought that the pandemic would have dialed down the coaching, consulting, advising world. Nope, opposite, boom, that went up too. Remember what happens in times of uncertainty, people are looking for certainty. So back to your topics. Let's, let's see, talk, you talk about health, relationship, dieting, business, lead generation, customer getting, sales, uh, digital marketing. I, I don't know. Like, look, everything basically except for retail, okay? <laughs> if you're teaching retail stuff, maybe you should change, okay? All of those, all of those just went up and now people are looking for someone who can show them the light, to show them the way. This one went up, okay? This one was always up. That didn't change at all. What added, and this is really cool, okay? What added are two more things. They're similar but different, okay? So hopefully you can see at the bottom here, yes. So one is, is live streaming. That's, that's one, okay? And another one, which is actually really important, are online events. Okay, now, these right here, these were very difficult to sell up until 2020. The idea of somebody coming to like an online summit, why, people are like, why would I pay money? <laughs> why would I pay money to listen to somebody teach online? Because their view of people has always been, hey, if somebody's gonna teach online, it's probably should be free, you know? So people have attended all these summits, you know, the health summits or whatever, and they're all free. People have been attending all that stuff, it's all free. And then all of a sudden, February, March of 2020, this thing completely took off. It's like, remember in, in um, uh, back to what was the movie with uh, Will Smith, the, the um, Men in Black, okay? So remember Men in Black when they're like, the flashy thing that made people forget everything? It was like in end of February, the, uh, somebody flashied the whole world. Okay, because all of the sudden, and this is when I, this is when I knew it. This is all, the moment I saw this, I'm like, oh man, the world just changed. I watched the, the beginning of a Saturday night live show about, about six weeks ago. And the host, please welcome set, your host, your guest host. And, and the host that normally comes out and does a monologue, she did it from her home. The next sketch was a bunch of people on Zoom on a sketch and their connection wasn't even all that great, okay? And as soon as I saw that, I go, you know what? 
America just got comfortable watching events. Uh, they, they just got watched, comfortable watching their entertainment streamed not even that great from home. The, the world just completely changed. So this flashy thing just happened, okay? So if you have a message, a product, a service, an expertise, a story, an experience that helps people. The bad news is right now you're not gonna get paid 7,500 bucks to do a keynote speech. The great news is all of this just accelerated and this opened up. And I can tell you from experience, remember I said this was a small part of my, my business anyway? I can tell you from experience that this at least 2 x this one probably 2 x as well, and this one probably 10 x okay? And this one just, uh, well, zero x I guess, okay? Let me just be as transparent as I can about this. I would take zero x to make that 2x, 2x, and that 10x, okay? So now, ultimate speaker is next week. Half of you already, uh, I, I, I see the name. Half of you already enrolled, okay? And if you're enrolled, what I'm about to say now, you are good to go, you don't even have to think about it, okay? Next week, this is the ultimate speaker manual, okay? So ultimate speaker, I teach how to build a perfect speech, how to get paid for keynote speech, speeches, how to sell your products. I give you the entire, my entire formula how to sell coaching, consulting, how to sell books. That's four parts of a nine part syllabus, okay? Teach you how to be funny on stage, how to tell great stories, how to communicate with an audience, presentation skills, all that stuff, okay? The bad news is this just went out the window for a little while. I'm gonna still teach it next week, by the way, because you're gonna need to know it, and that way you've got it as a resource when the world picks back up again. And I'm gonna show you how to build your platform because I'm gonna make sure that we cover all of our bases. But next week and the week after, when we do Ultimate Speaker online training, I'm gonna focus in over here. Okay, because when you put your cash, when you put yourself on the proper side of the cash register, there is a lot of money available for you when you do this right, okay? And all I'm going to suggest is to just do a handful of things. One, find a way to get in front of your market. Your market might be on LinkedIn, maybe on Instagram, maybe on Facebook, maybe on YouTube, maybe on TikTok, I hope not. I hope it's not on TikTok. <laughs> okay, find a way to get in front of your market. Step number one, okay? Step number two, find a way to communicate a message to them that they respond to. Okay, that's step number two. Step number, someone put this in chat, by the way, because I got a, I got a, um, uh, I don't have the boardroom. So write it down. Step one, find your market. Get, step two, what did I just say? Find a way to get in front of them, okay? Find a way to communicate in such a way that attracts them and then find something to offer to them that will help change their life, okay? So there's the three things. Go get in front of your market. Number two, find a message that's compelling enough to draw them and attract them to you while at the same time offering them the next step that will help them, okay? That's it in terms of your strategy right now. And I'm telling you, when you do this, all of a sudden, I mean, if you've been like, for the last few years, you've been almost feel like you, you're ready to, to explode because you feel like, I, I can't believe I got this message. Like I just have to share it with people and I wanna change people's lives and I wanna grow my business. You feel like you've been pounding your head against the wall and then all of a sudden COVID-19 hit the world and you're like, man, what? I'm never gonna be able to do this. If, if that's the way you feel, there's really good news for you because in a very strange way, in, in a way that I could have never predicted how, but in a very strange way, this situation, this global pandemic, is actually going to create the answer to all of your hopes and dreams and prayers. And I said this, Marquetta's here, I said this to Marquetta, I said, Marquetta and I and her husband uh, and a couple other folks, we, 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 we get together and, and pray regularly together. And one of our very first calls after this whole thing, I said, you know, this is crazy to say this, but I think this whole situation may be, may be the beginning of the answer to a lot of our prayers. And I, I felt bad saying that because I, like, I don't want, you know, there's people that are hurting right now, losing their jobs and stuff like that. But at the same time, this whole situation is creating an opportunity for you, which I don't want you to miss, okay? So I'm gonna jump over here 
Um, thank you, Emily, for taking notes. Thank you, everybody who's just jumping on there and taking notes. Um, Y'all are awesome. I'm going to take like a breath of a deep breath for a second. Um, and uh, in a moment, I'm going to answer some of your questions. Okay. Uh, and but here's what I want to do really quickly. And uh, you remember that, Marquetta? I know. I said, look, this. I don't mean crazy, but it might be. All right. So, really quickly, let me just tell you. Um, what's coming down the pike. And, and like I said, I think, shoot, looking at the list here, if you are registered for Ultimate Speaker, you tell me in chat that you're already registered because that looks like about half of you already registered. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Ultimate Speaker online event, which is coming up. Boom, look at everybody just saying I'm registered. <laughs> and by the way, if you have questions, um, hit the button underneath um, that says, uh, questions. Barbara, I see your question about a coaching uh, program. Candace, Sally, David, Bruce, uh, Horatia, Diana registered yesterday. <laughs> Robin, David, Dennis, Denise, you all are registered. You're good to go. All right. So next week on Tuesday morning, uh, the way that Ultimate Speaker Digital is working is we're going to meet in the morning when we normally do Ed Talks Live. We're going to meet at 10 o'clock Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. Four days next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the week after, June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th. So it's nine days. Uh, give me about an hour a day uh, and a little bit of time afterwards for Q&A. And all of it is recorded, okay? So some of you have kids, some of you have jobs, you want to catch it later, it's fine, okay? It's all recorded and put into a membership area, all right? During this time, I'm going to go through the modules that I'm going to be uh, teaching next week, but I'm adding in modules to show you how to take advantage of what's happening right now. Okay. Live streaming, live online events and all that. In addition to that, you also get the manual. Okay. So I'm going to, I, I, my team is printing these manuals. These are coming out priority mail. Okay. What that means is when you register today, we're going to drop this in the mail tomorrow and you're going to get it. What's tomorrow? Friday. You're going to get it I don't know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, I guess Monday's Memorial Day. You're going to get it. Okay. Along with a little letter for me. So this is 190 page manual designed to show you everything that you need to know and it's fill in the blanks that we're going to be doing that together. In addition to that, you're also going to be getting the live recordings from the event that I did in the fall, which is called the ultimate speaker. I want you to see my guest speakers. I want you to see some of the modules that I'm teaching there because I'm going to be spending some extra time on some new modules and there's maybe some detail that I gave or maybe some questions that I answered in that event. So I'm going to give you two events already for the price of one. Now, a couple things. First of all, there's an investment for this program, okay? And it's not cheap and it shouldn't be. I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the keys to what I believe is a million or a certain case multi-million dollar business and there's an investment for that. I've long since learned that if you don't pay, you don't pay attention, okay? So there is an investment for that, but there is a two pay option so that you can spread it out if you want a little bit. And I can tell you for the right business and the right person, it's a no brainer, all right? Last thing I'll tell you, I'm gonna jump onto the page real quick and show you some of the things you have. The last thing I'll tell you is I'm going to give you a bonus. And I've so far, I've only given this to the people who are already registered for Ultimate Speaker. Uh, but I'm doing an event in June, and that event is called The Big Pivot. It is an event designed to show you how to rapidly pivot your business and to create the kind of business that will make you quite a bit of money for the next 20 to 50 years. It is Think about this as the next step after the ultimate speaker training uh, that you're going to get. And I'm going to be doing that event live and digitally. Okay. So I'm going to do it live in Dallas, which you're, you're welcome to attend to. And I'm, I'm almost at right now, we have a hundred seats available in Dallas and we're almost actually full. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, uh, I'm going to give you when you enroll for ultimate speaker, assuming you're in the first group and I'll give you that number in a second. It's a small group based on the numbers that I have. Uh, I'm going to give you tickets to that. Now, here's the thing about the June event. That event is going to be more expensive than Ultimate Speaker is right now. So when you enroll in Ultimate Speaker now, you're going to get that event, which is going to be priced. Th that event, by the way, is, is a $1,000 event. So you're going to save money. If all you did is enroll in this and get that event as a bonus, you'd save money. But you're going to get it in as a bonus, plus you're going to get Ultimate Speaker, plus you're going to get the recording. So you actually get three events in one, and I'll explain what that means uh, in just a second. Okay. Um, and I've got some other questions. Um, 
Everything will be recorded. Yes, so everything is recorded and put in the membership site. That way, if you miss it uh, or anything, you are good to go. All right, so the website, let me pull this up really quickly and I'm just gonna show it to you and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna teach at the event. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do a long discussion of this, okay? Because I wanna get right into your questions or get right into the training. So this isn't like a long, I'm gonna do this for just a couple minutes so you can get in here. But let me just show you really quickly the website. And Delisa, you can put the website into, um, into chat as well, okay? So this is the website, it's theultimatespeaker.com. You can see, I'm closing this out on Sunday. So here's the reason. We start the training Tuesday morning. So Monday is Memorial Day, just gonna give you the day off. We start the training on Tuesday and I need to get you a manual in the mail, get you prepared and everything. So we're gonna close out and deadline this on Sunday night, okay? So you got a little less than three days to get in on this, but you do wanna enroll now because to get the bonus that's coming in June, you're gonna wanna be in the first seven people that enroll right now, okay? now. If you're number eight or you're number nine, what's going to happen is you're going to get put on the line. And if there's space, you're gonna get in. And if there's not space, you're not. But I'm gonna guarantee the first seven people who enroll right now are gonna get the extra live or virtual training in June. If, if, but if you're after that, it's just gonna be a waiting list and you maybe, maybe not, okay? Which is the reason why you wanna do it now, okay? So you can read a little bit more about what we're gonna teach. It's important that you see this though. The entire Ultimate Speaker experience is streaming online from May 26th to June 5th. Plan on just a little over one hour a day, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Everything, everything will be recorded, so if you miss a day, you can still get the training, okay? Here's a little video if you wanna watch a little bit more about what's in the event, okay? And this is Ultimate Speaker Digital. What's not on this page is you're also going to get the, the additional training that I did back in the fall, okay? You can read some of the benefits and the bullets of all the things that you're gonna learn. It's a lot of stuff. Listen, there's a lot of training. And some of you were there in the fall and you know it's a lot of stuff. Now, Michael Haig, who is my celebrity storytelling coach. This is the guy that I go to to learn all of my story methods. He will be coming in digitally as well and spending a full day with you, coaching you up and training you on how to tell great stories. And if you don't know Michael Haig, he's the guy that Will Smith goes to uh, to learn his storytelling, okay? So he knows how to teach it to you. All right, there's a little bit more information on this page, and let me just walk through this very quickly. Part one, that we're gonna start actually on Tuesday, is how to build the perfect speech. Part one will, is for you if you do live speaking, webinars, webcast, Zoom trainings. Uh, if you do um, uh, media interviews, if you do podcast interviews, you're going to want this, okay? Because I'm going to show, I don't know why this page keeps moving, but it does, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you how to build a perfect speech from the ground up that gets your audience to laugh, that gets your audience to remember you and gets your audience to take action, okay? Part number two, I have an entire segment on how to be funny on stage, even if you're not. Listen, if you do not consider yourself a funny person, you don't like telling jokes or any of that stuff, this, this I will show you. 14 different ways to get your audience to laugh and none of them involves you even telling a joke, okay? Part three is how to get paid checks for keynote or instructional speaking. Remember I said that went away? Even so, I'm going to teach it to you so that when you build your platform the right way, in the fall when people start calling you, you're gonna be able to get those 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, $10,000 checks to come in and speak, okay? Part four is really important. This is how to get coaching consulting, spinoff business, okay? In this part, I'm gonna show you how to build a presentation you can use on a Zoom training, you can use on a live stream, you can use on a media interview that will draw people into you to pay you for your time, uh, your ideas, your attention, and your expertise. Part five is how to ethically and congruently, both very important words, sell more products. In part five, I'm gonna be breaking down uh, the entire system for how to very seamlessly go from a talk into an offer without a whole, I don't, what the heck is my website? You know what? It's fine. Um, and in this, I'm going to show you how to do it in a way that you've never done it before in a very seamless way that gets your audience to laugh along with you and have a lot of fun. Okay. Um, part six is how to sell more books. If you have a book, this is for you. If you don't have a book, I'm going to show you some quick ways to get that done. Part seven, sometimes people come to me and say, hey, look, Ed, I, I, I don't love being in front of audiences. 
I have a little bit of stage fright. I can tell you this is a five minute problem and I'm going to show you how to eliminate, completely eliminate stage fright uh, in five minutes or less with a, just that tiny little exercise that's going to make you laugh. Okay. Part eight is how to build your website, uh, platform, social media, and more. And then part nine is probably my favorite part. Uh, Barry mentioned this in the beginning of the training. This manual right here, if you look at the screen, starting back here is the treasure trove. And every, you get everything like my pre-talk questionnaire, you get. My speaking agreement, you get. My consulting agreement, you get. Okay, my slides, I give you my slides. I mean, for my coaching presentation slides, for a product presentation, all my slides, they're sitting in here. And because we're doing it digitally, you get the Word documents, and you get the PDFs, and you get the PowerPoint present, you get it all, okay? Uh, not, not just in the manual, but you also get it inside of the, um, inside of the membership site. All right, um, let me uh, share my screen one more time. Let's do this one. All right, a couple more things and then we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. Um, first thing you should know, this is crazy that I still offer this, by the way. All right, you get the binder, you get the exercises, you get to work with me one-on-one -on -one and get your questions answered. Um, all of this is for you, okay? You also get two guarantees. And I don't even know why I left these on there, but I did. The first one is what I call the biggest smile on your face guarantee. Register now and if after the first day you're not completely blown away and on the path to success, just let my team know, turn your materials and you'll get 100% refund. Listen, uh, nobody's taking me up on this ever. <laughs> let me tell you, this event will blow you away. I, no question about it. But if for some reason it's not right for you, I don't want you to have to think about that now. You can think about that later, okay? So register today, you're totally covered. And here's the thing, even if you get to the end of the training, if it's not for you, we'll give you a refund. Here's the second one. This is what I call the $60,000 guarantee. The strategies that I'm gonna teach you are good for giving you an extra $5,000 a month or more, okay? So it's very simple. I'm so confident you'll make an extra $60,000 or more in the next 12 months from what you learn and implement that I'm putting my money where my mouth is, okay? So if for some reason you don't make at least $60,000, all you have to do next year is show me that you implemented just two of the tons of strategies and I'm gonna give you triple your money back, come on. Like, have you ever seen anything like that before? And again, let me stick me up on that one before as well because it's that good of a deal, all right? So you get all of this and you have two options. You can do a single pay of $697 or a two pay of $397. It's all at this website, theultimatespeaker.com. Now I want you to think about this for a second. Let's say all you do is sell 10 copies of a product that you only sell for 200 bucks. And I'll probably recommend that you sell it for more than that. Let's say all you sell is 10 products from what you learn at 200 bucks, okay? Which is a no brainer. It's $2,000. You invested 697 in the program. That's about a three to one return on your investment. Let me tell you, your stockbroker hasn't come anywhere close to that, <laughs> okay? Not especially this year. But I mean, think about this. What if all you did was get one client to pay you two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000? Let's say they pay you $4,000. Or let's say you get two clients to pay you $2,000. From what you learned and experienced in this program, that's $4,000. You paid $697, that's seven. That's about a six to one return on your investment. I can't think of a scenario, books, live streaming, live events. Let's say you do a live event, $100 enrollment. All you need to do is get seven people, seven people <laughs> to justify it, all right? So the website is um, ultimatespeaker.com. And I'm gonna answer your questions here in just a second, but now's the time to do it. You got the guarantee, you got, it, it's all there. Last thing I'll tell you, the first seven people that enroll, right? If you already registered, you're good to go, okay? If you're registering now, first seven people are gonna get guaranteed access to the, to the live training in Dallas, June 25th to the 27th, the big pivot, all right? And after that, eight, nine, 10, you're gonna get put on the waiting list. If there's room, there's room, but we have uh, space restrictions. Right now, 100 max is the number. Uh, that may open up, by the way, uh, but right now it's 100 separate desks, social distancing and everything. It's not my rules, it's Dallas, all right? Aubrey says, no brainer, which is 100% right. Okay, so let me jump in um, and make sure that I answer all of your questions. Uh, if I can get, yes, Emily, let me see if you're, uh, let me see if you're registered. So um, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna answer your questions now, okay? I told you that would be quick, and that was quick. And one, 
let me see where we're at here real quick. Okay, let me just welcome a few people to the family. So uh, Terry, you are in. Uh, Justin, you are in. Ben, what's up, dude? Welcome back. You're in. Uh, Robert, you're in as well. And there's more coming in. My uh, email system lags a few minutes behind the order system. But if I just mention your name, you are good to go and you're inside the first seven. Okay, so that came, that came very, very quickly. Uh, thank you, by the way. Lonica said, agreed. A lot of great and invaluable content at the Ultimate Speaker. Uh, Donna said, Michael is a great speaker on storytelling. Uh, M Michael Haig is not only one of the best communicators that I know, but he is one of the best people that I know. That guy, I've, g I've really grown to know him as a friend, and he is a great person with great integrity. And you, and you want his help on your stories. And when you register for this event, you're going to get Michael Haig helping you on your stories. And there is no, look, this is the guy Will Smith pays to help him with his stories, okay? So it's a huge, huge deal. You're going to get the video from him last event, which is actually really important. And then you get a whole day with him. In fact, I'm doing a bonus. I didn't even mention this. Michael's going to be teaching uh, June 3rd, I think is the day he's teaching the whole day. The next day, Michael and I are coming back to do a full Q&A day uh, just for you on story. All right. So um, June event virtual. 99.9. .9. I mean, I, my team's ready to do it, Jim. So yes, we're going to do it virtually. Let's just, let's just make the call on that one, all right? The event, by the way, let me show you this because it's so cool. I just got this. Um, the June event. Check this out. I, I've been telling everybody in the morning that um, I can't tell you the name of the June event. Hold on, let me, um, but this is the, this is the, this is the, re this is the big reveal. <laughs> I've been holding off. You kind of knew though, didn't you? I've been holding off on the name, but the June event is being, is, is called the big pivot here. I'll show it to you really quickly. Cause I think this is awesome. Hang on. Here we go. Check it out. Bam. You saw it here first. <laughs> All right. So the June event is called the big pivot. Uh, I wrestled with this one. I wrestled with this one. Um, it's a live event. Okay. I was going to make it live only and not digital, uh, but just between us kids, there are some people I know that it's not advisable for them to travel because of age or pre-existing conditions. And I wanted to just respect you and your space and your desires. There's some of you who have already told me, dude, I'm going to be there live. Okay. So the big pivot event is going in June. The live attendees are getting an extra day of extra half day of coaching and training that's hands-on. Uh, so if you're digital, you're going to miss a little bit of it, but you're going to get the, the, the majority of the event. All right. So there is a reason to attend live, but we're going to do it streaming and you're going to be able to get that uh, there as well. All right. Thank you, Jim Butts. Uh, Aubrey, all that stuff will open up next week. The first training is Monday, the Zoom training. So uh, the membership site, all that stuff, I'll, I'll, we'll be opening all that up and the content will drop in there as we're releasing the content. You'll get a PDF version of the manual sent to you. You'll get a live, ver a real version of the manual sent to you uh, and you wanna sign up now. All right, cool. So let me just check and make sure there should have been a few more orders that came in and there have been. Oh, wow, okay. So a, a lot more. Um, Donald, Mike, Francine, Rick, and Karen, you're all in, okay? So it looks like you all ordered at exactly the same time, by the way. So five of you processed your order at exactly, or it came through to me at six after. So I'm not gonna do a tiebreaker, okay? And that's, by the way, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. So all nine of you are guaranteed for big pivot, okay? Uh, let me just do this. I know a few of you are, that, that came in faster than I thought it was going to. So I know some of you are like still looking for your credit card. So I'll open it up for the next five just to make sure. I don't want anybody like running down the hall uh, trying to find their credit card. I know some of you are still enrolling and I'll, I'll get you in. Okay. So Diana, looking forward to having you as well. Um, Anita asked, how long is the membership site granted uh, after enrolling? It doesn't expire. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's going to be around in like 2080. You know what I'm saying? And at some point, 
but it's not going to go away and I'm not going to go away. So you can expect that you're going to have it for basically as long as you need it. It, it doesn't close. Let me just put it that way. Um, thank you, Edwin. Good to have you in as well. Um, Edwin asked a pilot question, which I'll do at the end if I can. Um, yeah, so Bruce said, is Big Pivot live or live stream? Again, I would debate it on this one. The live, ex there's nothing like a live immersive experience. And I wanted to give you that. I wanted to give it to you, you know, just to make sure that you had it, uh, that, that opportunity. And I know some people who like really want to come to a live event, including me. So the live experience, I believe will be a better experience, but there are some people who just can't travel and they just can't be in a room. And I get that. So for you, uh, we're going to do the live stream. Aubrey, uh, it's Tuesday. We start Tuesday morning at 10. Uh, and that's because uh, Monday's Labor Day. And I just wanted to give some time for everybody to be with their family and or Labor Day, Memorial Day, uh, to be with your family, to enjoy the day and uh, to have a hot dog or whatever you want to have on that day as well. All right, cool. So good to see you. Um, and I have like a ton of questions that just came in as well. Uh, and if you have an individual question about whether you're enrolled or whether you're registered or whether uh, your guest is registered, just email us right at support at edrust.com and we will take care of you there. All right, so um, let me answer, I'm gonna do the Q&A real quick. Uh, and I'll hit the ones about the event really first. Uh, first. So Aubrey, the digital version of the manual is either gonna come out tomorrow or Monday, but you're gonna get it, okay? So that one, um, we've, we've got it. We're just gonna get it to you before the event. Um, Anita said, how long afterwards? Foreseeable future. Years, probably, okay. Um, so I don't shut the membership site down, but again, some point I'm gonna be off as the president and eventually it'll go away. <laughs> Is the manual doesn't arrive in time in Canada, can we access it online? Yes to that. And, and for those of you who just joined us, we're gonna get your manual as fast as you can, send it out priority mail so it should get there really fast. We can't control the speed of the mail, so if you don't get it, We'll get you a digital version. The good news is Monday's training. You're only going to need about four or five pages of the manual. And I'll tell you what that is ahead of time. Okay. So if you have the digital version, you could print a few pages out, stick them in your manual when they come. Uh, but Denise, I know we signed the customs form on your manuals uh, a few days ago. So uh, you should get it. You should get it in time. All right, Gina, um, if you bought the event recordings from October, uh, yeah, if you want to, that's fine with me. Totally cool. Um, Aubrey, the fall, I think I answered this. The fall recordings will be uploaded into the system as we do the training next week, okay? So those will all be built in as we're going, and you'll see why we do that in a moment. Um, Charles asked about the event in June. Do we have to notify you if we want to come to Dallas in June? Yes, but you don't have to tell me right now. So what we're going to do is get started on Ultimate Speaker next week. Um, so next week, during Ultimate Speaker, I'm going to start promoting the big pivot to everybody who's not enrolled in the ultimate speaker, okay? Uh, and, and for whatever seats are left. So if I have three seats left, I'm gonna say, hey, like I have three seats left. When I do, before I do that, I'm gonna go out to all the ultimate speaker attendees. There's well over hundred attendees now, about 120. I'm gonna go out to you and see uh, who's coming live and who's coming digital. And then I'll know how many seats I have. That's why I said we have over hundred, all right? So uh, we'll just ask you to RSVP probably sometime next week but just, just wait on that. We'll send you an email where you can confirm your seat. Okay. Uh, good to go. All right. Let me see what else I have. Um, is there a promo code? Here's the promo code. You're going to get three courses for the price of one. Okay. So I was going to do it. I was going to do some kind of a discount, but I'm like, you know what? Instead of a hundred dollar disc, I normally on these zoom calls, I do like a hundred dollar discount. I'm like, you know what? Instead of a hundred dollar discount, I'll give you the fall event and I'll give you the June event. And that's like, $1,500 worth of stuff. So I figured you'd rather have all the bonuses. Um, so thank you for that question. Uh, will the June be offered online or just, yeah, I answered that. I think as far as the June event goes. Um, no restriction, Anita, on attending virtually in June. We can take as many people as Zoom has. The only thing about attending virtually, like I said, if you can be there live, you're going to want to be there live because it's a three-day event. The, the last half day is going to be a live half day it, because it's, it's it, what I'm going to be doing that half, at the end of that half day, you're going to want to be live for it. Okay. So, uh, so the actual live attendees are going to get a little bonus uh, section, but the people attending digitally will have their, uh, the two and a half days. All right, cool. I've got uh, one, two, 
Roy, my man, where is the event close to so I can start getting my hotel? Two things. First of all, it's just east of Dallas-Fort Worth Airport in Irvine, uh, Irvine Texas. Uh, the second thing is I just got my hotel. <laughs> man, hotels are cheap. <laughs> I just got the biggest suite in this hotel for like 170 bucks a night. So now's a great time to be going. <laughs> Be traveling. <laughs> oh man. All right. So I've got four other questions. Um, let me make sure I haven't missed anything in chat. Um, Bob, the answer is yes. Just email us about that. All right. Um, let's see. Denise, see you tomorrow. Um, <laughs> ruin the promo codes. No, you didn't. Um, Okay, Anita says, how does this training differ from every other speaker training? Uh, Tony and Dean and Lisa and Speak to Sell. Okay, so first of all, Anita, I haven't attended any of those other speaker trainings. All I can do is tell you, uh, half of the people already, or a few of the people already here have already attended, so maybe you wanna pitch in if you've been to any of those speaker events. What I can tell you very simply is a couple of things. Number one, everything that I'm gonna teach you works on planet Earth. It's not theory or fluff or anything that, has been made up. It's everything that I use in my business given to you. Okay. So, and it's what I use on behalf of my clients too. So everything has been tested through the fires of planet earth. All right. And there's a lot of folks, I don't, I don't I'm not speaking directly about the people you mentioned, but there are a lot of people out there who, who teach things they don't do. And the things that I do, I'm not kidding you. You'll see me teach the product stuff. You'll go to an event and you'll, you'll watch me up on stage and be like, he's doing his thing. I'm going to teach the co coaching consulting stuff. You're going to see me on stage doing it. You're going to see it the way I teach it. Okay. And you're going to see the result too, by the way, people who come to my events, uh, when I'm speaking, you'll see tens, twenties, thirties, hundreds, in certain cases, thousands of dollars created by what I'm teaching. You, okay. So the first thing is it's, it's what works. Okay. And I'm, and I can look you in the eye with full authenticity and transparency and say, this works on planet earth. The second thing is it's seamless. This is really important. I teach speakers how to be themselves. The best version of you is you. Not, uh, you, you've seen speakers out there who you're like, well, he sounds like Tony Robbins and he looks like, you know, he moves like Tony Robbins, but he's not Tony Robbins. Or you see a speaker that, that like talks like Les Brown, but it's not Les Brown. The best speaker, Anita, is you. The best you is you. Uh, and what I do with speakers is tease out your, actual yourself, your authenticity, so that you can deliver that on stage. What that means is you're going to be yourself with all of, all of your, like when you saw me do it today, this is me teaching. This isn't like some, I don't change my like, you know, voice. <laughs> this is me. Okay. Uh, and so what I'm going to teach you in the ultimate speaker and also in June is to bring out the true authentic version of you. All right, cool. Um, a couple other questions. I'm going to go through the Q and A in a second. Thank you, Barbara, for immediately implementable. I love it. Um, thank you, Aubrey. This is very nice. She said, he's the real deal. I've attended Lisa's events. She's great, but you learned so much more. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like Lisa Sasevich, by the way. I know Lisa. Um, I don't have anything. I've never watched any, any of her events, uh, so I wouldn't even know. Uh, but I can tell you, you're going to leave with a big smile on your face from this thing. All right. So let's take a look here really quickly. A few more that came in. Um, very cool. Awesome. All right. So Couple things. Um, Barbara Hales said, what would you offer in a $15,000 coaching program? Um, Barbara, that is a good question and I'm glad you asked it. Okay, so uh, first of all, the coaching programs that you develop are going to be based and contingent upon, I'm look at the clock. Oh, we're good, we got plenty of time. Uh, your coaching programs that you offer will, be, offer will be based and contingent upon the, who you're offering it to, okay? So every offer is always built first around the person that you're communicating to. Um, and what their desires are. What is it that they want? Now, my coaching programs, the ones where people work with me, um, are, are intensive in the one-on-one -on -one work that I do. Uh, my sweet spot with entrepreneurs and business owners is sitting down one-on-one, -on -one, typically in a coaching day format, where I ask a series of questions, and then together we come up with this beautiful, crazy, awesome business that you never had before. Most business owners, when they come sit down with me, have about 100 things they're doing. Most business owners have about another 100 things that they feel guilty that they're not doing. And when someone sits down with me, they leave five hours later with two to four things that are their main focus area. So 
Simplicity is really important to me, but also efficacy. It needs to work. And so I, when people work with me, it's intense on one-on-one. So when people work with me, for example, uh, we do an initial call together, an assessment call. We do a one-day meeting, sometimes another half day later on. Uh, we do one-on-one calls. Uh, they'll shoot me ideas back and forth in email or videos back and forth where we're working on copy like Lonica who's here. Together we're working uh, on a beautiful website revision she's got going on uh, right now. And so that's the kind of intensive work that I'm doing. Now, fundamentally, people, Barbara, don't wake up in the morning thinking, well, I want someone's time. Fundamentally, people wake up thinking about the result. So ultimately, when you're offering a coaching program, uh, what you're trying to communicate is the result that someone's going to get. Uh, one of the results people get from working with out of mind is certainty. When I tell you it'll work, it'll work. Another one is knowing that they're heading in the right direction. Another one is the pure monetary result of connecting with their customer and making more. My goal, really simple goal is a 10 X. So for example, if somebody invests 15,000, I expect that they'll make another $150,000 from what they learned out of a program with me. And my, my programs are a little bit more than 15,000, but at least we'll go uh, into this one. And then additionally, in my programs, like for example, I'm thinking about launching a mastermind again. In my mastermind-based programs, uh, people get the opportunity to work with other like-minded business owners. So for example, I have a mastermind, or I had a mastermind last two, two groups last year that were about 15 to 18 business owners uh, wide, and we would meet three times a year for two days. Well, shoot, I could show up and like stand on my head and spit nickels for two days, and the group as far as a group coaching each other, they can get to the result right there. So, uh, so usually there's a one-on-one component. Usually there's an ongoing component. Usually there's a group component for the work that I do. Okay. And that's just an idea of that. And by the way, I'm thinking about launching another mastermind. I've asked this uh, publicly before and had some response. If, if that would be something that would be interesting to you, let me know. Cause I'm kind of, I'm thinking about it. I, I do a lot of consulting and advisory work still. Um, India says, yes. Um, cool. Thank you, Barry. Uh, I, I didn't know. He, he just said, Lisa speak to sell is unique. Ed is better at targeting results. Thank you. I, I like that. Appreciate that. Um, Gary Rush, by the way, who answered, this is good. Um, he answered in chat another, and he's a coach, by the way, Gary is a good, good coach uh, and been known for years. Other key is to get easy steps to follow that increase your implementation and significantly increase your chance of achieving your outcome. Meant to say you get easy steps to follow. I like that. Um, is the one-on-one private hot seat or in a group? I think Anita, I swear Ed's not coming in. Oh, and I think Anita, you said is the one-on-one private or in hot seat in a group. No, the one-on-one is when I'm answering your questions in the training like this, okay? So if you want to get your questions asked during the actual training, this is what we're doing right here, okay? Um, Oh, Jim said my, my, my testimony is on the ultimate speaker. That's great. Uh, thank you, Jim. Uh, still connecting weekly, daily. Oh, great. Oh, wow. That's great. All right. Uh, Greg said, oh, Greg said, I just got online. Is there a link to find out about this training? Yeah. Delisa, throw the link in there one more time. The ultimate speaker. Uh, and by the way, if you just, it's the ultimate speaker.com. And if you did just join us like Greg just did, um, you're going to get enrolled for the training that starts next Tuesday, ultimate speaker online. You're going to get the recordings from the last event that I did in the fall, the ultimate speaker event. You're also going to get access to my, the big pivot again, uh, event in June. All right, cool. Thank you, Greg, for asking that question. You get a bunch of bonuses uh, and we're over seven. So we'll see what I can do about getting you in. All right. Uh, let me ask the other questions here. Horatia says, what is the difference between products and books? All right. So a book would be like, for example, this book that you have for me, 21 Day Miracle, this would be an example of a book. The challenge with a book is a book's price is based on two things. The kind of binding, paperback, hardcover, Kindle book, and the number of pages. So if it's 100 pages or 200 pages, you know, book's price, like an audible book, is based on how long it is. That's it. So. So it's really difficult to value the information in a book based on the information in a book, okay? So what I typically do is I use books for positioning, branding, lead generation, 
and great uh, as a great business card. I use products as as the training mechanism to teach what I teach. Okay, so a product can be an online streaming product ratio. Uh, it could be a digital product, like somebody gets a manual um, and a bunch of CDs. It could be a little bit of both. I know you're uh, connected to Marquetta, like for example, her lace wig training system is a product. I think it's delivered digitally but that is a hands-on product on how to get that done. Now, the interesting thing, take Marquetta as an example. Marquetta could write a book called The Lace Wig Training Book, and she could write the book and still get leads into her online system. So for example, right now I'm reading a book called Oxygen Advantage, um, and in that book, he teaches his whole thing, and then he has an online course <clears throat> which teaches his whole thing. I'll take the online course. <laughs> That's just the way I am. I'll read the book, and then I'll take it a step further, okay? And so a product ratio can be, can be priced at 97, 197. I've sold products up to $5,000. A book, you're gonna max out at about 25 bucks, okay? So short version of your question right there. All right, I got one, <clears throat> I have three more questions. I need to like take a little sip of water here. So I'm about to go. Denise says, I have to go giving a speech on Zoom. Love it, love it. Oh, you came from Jonathan. Oh, okay, cool. That's right. That's right. You came from um, uh, uh, Connect Live. I must have seen you, though. You must have been on that live stream that I did with her because I thought I saw you on the comment section there. Anyway. All right. So, Chris Gordon says, how can a school with the capability to consult and coach how can a school with the capability to consult and coach leaders best utilize the next three months of summer to launch the most successful school year in 2020? And that is a good question. Let me think about that for a second. How can a school with the capability to consult and coach leaders best utilize the next three months of summer to launch the most successful school year in 2020? So interesting, interesting thought for you in terms of the, in terms of, and I'm assuming it's a traditional school, by the way. Um, I would use this three months to turn your school platform <clears throat> into something more like a TED, TED kind of platform. So imagine bringing in five to 15 of the kind of thought leaders that you really wanted to have in front of the people that you're training. Do a Zoom interview with them, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, put up a transcript underneath the video and have them on all of the different kind of topics that you want to and start driving traffic to those, to those videos into the platform and see which ones begin to take. The ones that take start picking up on those. Now you have two benefits to that. Number one, you're building content for your platform. So you're building credibility and you're also building traffic. But the second thing, and this is actually a really important, but, but, it, but very overlooked, part of doing interviews with people, those five to 15 people who may not have been connected to your school can now be advocates for you and they can be part of your great network. So I started this business like seven years ago, uh, maybe a little bit, maybe six years ago. It was a fishing show, a fishing podcast on iTunes. I started interviewing people. Next thing you know, I was on TV. I was on Fox TV on a fishing show. Like one of the stars of this show because I had done an interview with a guy that had a TV show. And the point there is sometimes creating those things sometimes gives you the entry into the marketplace from the people that you want to do. Um, <clears throat> cool. And I've got your question, Corey, your question. And I've got, by the way, one question left. Uh, we're right at maybe 90 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to wrap it up here pretty soon. If you haven't registered for Ultimate Speaker, now is your time. <laughs> get in, get in on that thing, man. You got a chance to do, basically get three events for the price of one. And the most important thing is I'm gonna show you how to transition quickly and take advantage of what's right in front of you. You're gonna get your questions asked one-on-one -on -one with me right on the training, uh, like you're asking Anita, if you have a question for me, we're gonna do it right in front of everybody, right on the training. And by the way, the reason I do Q&A that way instead of one-on-one -on -one is everybody has the question. So that way you can get your answer, but everybody else can get your answer too. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Thank you, Aubrey. Uh, Anita, I went to, oh gosh, you guys are the best. Thank you. Y'all are like, here's the thing. 
if you if you if you want if you do it need it it's going to be great and if you don't that's okay too okay <laughs> so you you don't feel any pressure uh but it is a good it is a good program all right so tony says my apologies for being late the glitch in the computer i'm good now my question i'm getting ready to start two online writing classes and one life class do you have advice for me tony the answer is yes um here's what i'm going to ask you to do though tony do me a favor I, I'm not sending out a replay of this thing and I'm not posting any kind of replay or anything like that. Email my team, Tony support at edrush.com. Go back and watch this. Well, I'll send you the, I'll send you the thing out of zoom. Watch this. And if you have any questions after that, email me. Okay. Cause what I just thought is the answer to your question. Um, yes. Support at edrush.com is the email, right? Lisa, that's where you wanted to send. All right, Corey Lord. This is the last question I have. If you have any other questions, put it right in the Q and a. Um, Corey Lord says, Hey Ed, my question, I have a business Cal sports Academy since 2006. I'm not sure how, how to go about creating my message, but I don't know how to go about getting my message and services to my clients. Uh, what would be your suggestion? All right. So I think you work with kids, uh, Corey, because we had talked about this, uh, before. So I'm actually going to jump up on the whiteboard, Corey, to answer your question. And then we'll wrap up the show, uh, with, uh, this. All right. So you remember the Russell Crowe movie? That's what this reminds me of. I know he was crazy. I know he was crazy. Don't, don't, don't make fun of me. All right. So, Corey, I'm going to talk about this real quick. So, because I didn't do this in today's show, but this is actually an important component of speaking. There's actually two parts to speaking. Part number one is to build your business. Okay. This includes leads, customers, lifetime customers, um, referrals, reviews. That's business building type of stuff. So for you, if you're working with kids, man, one of the most important things you can do is be out there communicating in front of parents. I have a, a following and several clients of mine who are martial arts school owners. So similar, Corey, to what you do. I have them use speaking all the time to go out in front of get, get in front of parent groups, to talk about bullying, talk about self-defense. Next thing you know, the parents are inside their school and their kids are signing up, okay? So you can use speaking to build your current business. But the second one, and this is really important, Corey, especially for you, um, is you can use speaking to build your personal brand, okay? So for example, one of my clients is a guy named Chris Casamassa. Some of you heard Chris on my, um, I interviewed him just a week ago. Chris has a martial arts school. Actually, he has a, he has a chain of martial arts school called, called Red Dragon. Chris also has his own personal brand. So Chris is a Hollywood actor, and he's a speaker, and he's got his own personal brand. So Chris uses speaking to simultaneously build his business while at the same time building his own personal brand, okay? And that's what I do. So for example, I'm speaking right now to help grow the business because we're communicating because of this event called Ultimate Speaker. But at the same time, I'm using speaking to grow and elevate my own personal brand, okay? So like a guy like uh, Joe Rogan, who just sold his podcast, right? Uses speaking to grow his business, but he also uses speaking to grow his personal brand. And for you, Corey, you're going to want to do both of those at the same time. What that means is that you're going to have your online platform for Cal Sports Academy right here, but eventually you're going to have your own CoreyLord.com or whatever the website is that you can get available so that you can present and start marketing yourself. That also includes books that you might write, um, et cetera. Oh gosh, I just turned my video off. I was trying to switch out my video uh, and I turned it off. Hang on. Cool. All right. See if I have any other questions. Cool. Aubrey, you are the best. All right. So I think that's it. I do have one other question. Um, so this is, let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Tony said, How do I, that's like the best question, Tony. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do this. I'll do this really quickly. So first of all, my team member, Delise, is going to put the link into chat. It's like, it's almost like we asked you to do that. Um, I'm going to go back <laughs> really quickly. Thank you for asking that. Um, where is the website that I'm looking for, though? Hang on. Oh, here we go. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to show this to you. And then I'm going to do a quick wrap up with a little, with your marching orders for today. 
Um, yeah, I do believe in prayer. Shoosh. I don't know where I would be without that. All right. So hang on a second. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to pull this page up. I've had a little issues. Oh, here we go. All right. So Tori, the page is the ultimate speaker.com. Here's the page. Here's the deadline, which is this Sunday. I did put in a couple of bonuses for the people who act fast and act now. When you scroll down, you can see all of the information uh, that you get. There's nine modules, but the truth is there's probably about 11 now because I added two more modules, one on live streaming and one on online products. So we're going to do that also inside of ultimate speaker training. It's a lot. I mean, you're going to get a lot. We start next Tuesday. It streams live in the morning, 10 o'clock on Tuesday. And then we go every day at 10 o'clock Pacific Monday through Friday. Then the next week, Monday through Friday, I've got my guests coming in to speak uh, as well. Um, you're going to get everything from how to build the perfect speech, how to be funny on stage, even if you're not, how to get paid checks for keynote speaking, uh, how to get coaching spinoff business, uh, how to ethically and congruently sell products, how to sell more books, how to eliminate stage fright and connect with any audience, how to build your platform, website, and more. The speaking treasure trove, which is all my scripts, all my agreements, all my forms, and everything. You also get my guarantees, which are significant. Uh, plus, um, Terry or Tori? Tori. Um, I'm going to send you my manual in the mail so that you're going to get this to do the entire event uh, with me. Plus, you're going to get the recordings from my last event. So you're going to get three days of my ultimate speaker training from last time so that you can use, uh, consume the content that way if you want to. You're also going to get access to my membership site, which has all my form scripts, agreements, uh, and presentations in PDF, keynote format, Word document, PDF, uh, PowerPoint, keynote, PDF, and Word. So you get all that covered. Plus, if you want to come to the event in June called The Big Pivot, you get that as well. The whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle this is such a good deal, man. I'm telling you. Whole kit and caboodle. There it is. $6.97 or two payments at $3.97. That's like the ultimate no-brainer. You can't make $700 back off of what I taught you. You, I'll, you better ask for it. I'm, I'm just telling you. You can't make $700 off of what I'm going to teach you. You're not paying attention, okay? All right, so it's a great deal, and a lot of you have said that in chat, and I really just appreciate you, Aubrey and Jim uh, and Gina. Thank you for your awesome um, comments. Gina said, I went to Dallas October for Ultimate Speaker and just registered for it again. I took so many notes at the event that I had my hand cramped up. <laughs> I love it, man. That is so great. Um, oh, cool. Thank you for that. Um, hey, Bruce, hashtag Ed over delivers. That is great. All right, last question that came in. Um, just out of curiosity, why did you choose doing this presentation on Zoom versus the others that you do on YouTube? Man, that is such a good question and an observant question. Thank you for asking it the way that you did. All right, so there's actually three different ways that I'm delivering uh, uh, information. And I'm going to go quite deep on this next week when I teach you the online training world, okay? On YouTube, when I'm broadcasting live every day, it's open to the world. Anyone can join. People can interact if they want to or they don't have to. It's totally up to them. They get in, they get out. It's just the way that it, that it is. So I view YouTube more as a brand building lead generation platform. Okay, so YouTube's where I'm broadcasting out uh, and doing a training like that. Now, the downside, I don't, I don't know who asked this question. Oh, yeah, you know what? It, your name actually come. Oh, Dan, great because it came through as anonymous, but Dan asked the question. So, um, so, um, so the challenge with YouTube, and it's worse on Facebook too, by the way, if you're streaming on Facebook, the challenge on YouTube or Facebook is attention span. So I've done live streaming, uh, shoot. I, I, I think it's, it's, I'm pushing 10 years now. I think the first live stream I did with Mike Canings was in 2010. 2011, that was back before YouTube Live, Facebook Live, we were using Ustream, Ustream boxes to stream back then. When Facebook Live came out and YouTube Live came out, we, we were like, great, let's start streaming there. What happened? All of a sudden, attention spans went down. And the reason why is if you look at the layout on YouTube and you look at the layout on Facebook, those, those platforms are designed to distract you. They're built, I mean, scientifically built to distract you. So when it comes to intensive trainings 
uh, Dan. When I want to really dial into something that I need someone's attention for, I'm gonna use Zoom. The second thing, and this is actually really important, this goes out to my, my list. So I've got a pretty considerable email list that I email this to and bring in registrations. This affords me the opportunity to do two things. And again, I'm going deep in the marketing content, but you asked. It gives me the opportunity to do two things. Number one, I can follow up with the people who are interested and leave everyone off. That way I don't have to send out 15,000, 20,000 emails. I can send out emails to the people who just registered for the event, okay? Second thing, I can gauge interest for this particular event. And the third thing uh, is I can compress the training to the people who want the training and not to everyone else. Okay. So there's a couple of different things there. There's an additional benefit, by the way. Uh, if you put a show up on YouTube and someone's like, yeah, maybe I'll go to that. But if somebody registers for something online, they're more likely to go. So again, there's just some more steps uh, that come to that. The third thing, and this is actually important too, is all of your behind the paywall trainings. Like for example, this event next week, ultimate speaker, those are going to go on zoom as well, but that's because you want people who are registered uh, to be coming on. So just a couple of thoughts on that. Uh, by the way, Zoom is an incredible platform, better, I think, than YouTube Live in terms of its streaming quality. You could have just an awful internet connection. Upload and download if you want to. I mean, my upload speed is great, but somebody can be watching like in their car or something on their phone uh, and have a bad internet connection and Zoom will figure out a way to keep it coming in. All right, so look at that, man. We did 16 questions today. I love it. Corey, you don't have to apologize. Paul Perez says, registered. Can't be live in Dallas, but still in play. Yeah, online version as well. All right, so I want to make sure I didn't miss any questions. If you got any last minute questions, put them in. Woo, man, we had a day. <laughs> All right, so biggest thing, I talked about the changes in speaking. Keynote speaking is out for right now. Online live streaming products are up. Coaching consulting's up. Now's your time. Take the right hand turn, the blue pill, business dissolves, take the left hand turn, the red pill, you go on to be a millionaire, multimillionaire, a billionaire. It's the decision that you have to make right now. Are you going to adjust? And when I asked you, most of you said, yeah, I'm going to do it within a week. I'm going to adjust within a week. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you a chance to adjust within a week. Okay. Um, the opportunity is right in front of you. Uh, I got Jim and Gina and Paul registered. I see you as well. You all are taking, I'm going to take great care of you. Uh, and we're going to start on Monday. We're going to start communicating tomorrow, maybe the next day in terms of what to get ready for and what to prepare for. But let me just tell you, this event's gonna totally blow you away. It'd be great if we could do it live, but we're gonna do it digitally because that's the hand that's been dealt to us. But the cool thing is doing it digitally, you're gonna to get to see a meta training of a delivery of a digital product that you wouldn't have normally got, right? So I would be teaching this live, telling you about doing a digital product, but now I'm gonna be doing a digital product. So you're gonna to get to see this happen right before your very eyes. And you know what? Even just the delivery of this, you're going to wanna to take notes on and learn from because you're gonna be delivering your own digital products here sometime soon. Don't forget, when you register, you're gonna get the manual sent to you in the mail. Make sure you give us the right email address. All of the communication we're gonna send you is via email except for this manual, okay? So make sure you give us the good email address, the one that actually goes to you. Make sure you give us a good mailing address, okay? And you got, you're going to get ultimate speaker, the online training. You're going to get the ultimate speaker manual. You're gonna get the fall, the recordings of the fall training and you're going to get the, um, uh, the enrollment to the big pivot again, event, which is happening in June. Again, that event, the price on that right now that I'm planning on is $9.97 or, or, or a three pay of like $3.97. So when you enroll now for Ultimate Speaker, you're gonna get that cheaper. You're gonna get three events cheaper than you would just get one event. So it's a really good deal. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna wrap up today's show with just this, look. Five years from now, I, I envision a whole bunch of us having like a party out on an island, a private island in the Caribbean, celebrating the decision we all made together to pivot quickly and take advantage of the opportunity. If you're on the island, it's because you chose to make a decision right now for action. And if you're not on the island, it's because you didn't. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you, this is the time. I, I, I'm, I've never been as certain about this as I've been about something. This is the time. This is your time. 
It's your time to get the kind of audience that you've been wanting to have for years. You've got this message burning inside of you and you want to have this audience and you've been wanting it. Now's the time. You've been looking at your bank account and you're like, man, I could really use a couple extra zeros at the end of that number. Now's the time. You, you, you want to have an impact. You, you see, you see the, the world and, and who it's led by and you're like, I, I wish I could have an impact on that. Well, now's the time to have an impact on that. Lifestyle, creating the kind of lifestyle that you want. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. Well, I can't stress that any more than I just did. So if you're in, you're about to go for a ride with me. That's going to be awesome. If you're not, that's cool. I get it. But think about it. You have until Sunday uh, to enroll before this thing closes out and goes away. So, and I'm going to shift gears right into this next event very quickly. Okay. So I'm going to be delivering ultimate speaker to the people who are enrolled and it's going to be awesome. And then, um, Oh, Paul said, you're going to be POTUS in five years. You're still going to host this on the Island. Yeah. Let's do the, let's do the, <laughs> let's do the Island. That is so funny, man. I was in the middle. I was in the middle of like a, my soliloquy here, Paul. Now's the time. Look, now it's just now. The time it, a year ago, the time was a year from now. From then. Now the time is now. With that, I'm gonna leave you and just say it's time for you to go change the world. I'm gonna sit on chat for just a minute or two and just say hello to some of you, but we are officially wrapped up for today. Uh, I, there may be one or two questions or something. I just want to say hello. Uh, but thank you, Barry. Thank you, Gina. You're the best. Um, book your stay on the island no joke man thank you mike uh, good to see you as well can't wait to see you Catherine. thank you hey thanks chris for your comment that's very nice dan great thanks for the email um aubrey anita Corey. thank you very much man i'm just catching up on chat you guys are great it's hard to see especially some of the chat that I saw as we were talking um, or as I was talking. It's very good. Dan, this is awesome, man. I'd love to find out a little bit more about what you do on the corporate sponsor side. You never know. Again, if you like just joined us, I'm just, I say goodbye, but I'm just ch catching up in chat. So you, you, you you can go if you want to. <laughs> if you have some place to go, I just want to make sure I say hello to everybody. <clears throat> Kurt, what's up, man? Oh my goodness gracious! The masterminds in Mission Bay, dude. That was a long time ago, man. Chris, I love it, dude. Chris Finn, I'm like Lieutenant Dan. That's right, man. You're right about that. All right, I'm going to wrap up today's show. Thank you, Francine Tone. Massive pivot, she said. Au revoir. I'm going to pronounce your name right before this is all over. Yeah, Louis. Hopefully, that's right. All right, look forward to seeing you, Melody Rush, as well. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Tony. All right, I'm going to wrap up today's show. Thank you guys very much. I love you and I like you. I will see you on Tuesday for the beginning of Ultimate Speaker. Catch you soon.